Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, Tesha Miller to stand trial for murder. And in sports, Gale leads Windy's World Cup squad. Samuel's not picked. Tesha Miller to stand trial for murder of former JUTC chairman. Reputed Klansman gang leader Tesha Miller, who has been implicated in the 2008 murder of former JUTC Jamaica Urban Transit Company chairman Douglas Chambers, was on Wednesday remanded in custody and will go on trial October 28. The trial for the St. Catherine Welder, who has been in custody since last October on a charge of accessory to murder before and after the fact, has been set for seven days in the home circuit court. The trial date was scheduled yesterday when Miller returned to court for a plea and case management hearing before Chief Justice Brian Sykes. During the hearing, the judge also ordered that six cell phones and a tablet that were seized from the accused during his arrest be returned to him through his attorneys by May 10. According to allegations, Miller gave another alleged member of the gang permission to shoot Chambers in Spanish Town St. Catherine. It is alleged that the gang members were displeased that the JUTC chairman was giving extortion money to another gang in the old capital. Education Minister shocked at murder of missing teacher. The Ministry of Education has expressed shock at the news that lecturer at the St. Joseph's Teachers College, Samuel Martin, has been found dead. Martin's body was found Thursday morning at Juna Crescent in Maypen Clarendon. He went missing on Good Friday. After he went to Mandeville to transport a family member he had picked up from the airport. The last time he was heard from was about 3 p.m. when he advised that he would be heading back to Kingston. An alert was triggered when his car was discovered that same evening at about 6.30 p.m. in bushes in Clarendon, 300 meters from where his body was discovered Thursday. The body was discovered with hands and feet bound, with gasoline poured all over it, in what police investigators surmise could be to keep the smell down. Minister with Responsibility for Education, Carl Samuda, in expressing condolences to Martin's family, said he had been hopeful that the English lecturer would have been found safe and alive. Samuda said that the sad news was especially painful as the sector grappled with the recent loss of two students. The minister has called on the community of Juno Crescent in Maypen, as well as anyone who may have information on the killing, to cooperate with police as they investigate. Agriculture Minister against PC Banks Financing Cannabis Industry Minister with Responsibility for Agriculture, Industry and Commerce Audley Shaw says he does not support the idea of the National People's Cooperative Bank being transformed into a dedicated financial institution for the legal cannabis industry. The proposal was made by the Ganja Growers and Producers Association, GGPA, in its position on the urgent need for financial services for the country's fledging legal marijuana industry. Special advisor to the GGPA, Orville Silvera, had suggested in a Jamaica Observer interview that the country already has infrastructure in the form of the PC Bank and that having this institution as a dedicated bank for ganja would neutralize the intermingling of cannabis money with the mainstream banking system. This, he said, was one of the solutions to bankers' fear of handling finances linked to ganja. Minister Shaw said, however, that the route being taken by Jamaica is heavily lobbying the United States through the country's ambassador in Washington to relax the rules to allow utilization of the correspondent banking system for legal cannabis. BVI Premier reveals death threats on his life. Premier Andrew A. Fahi Thursday said he had been receiving death threats since he won the general election in the British Virgin Islands in February. The Premier told Parliament that there have been three major threats to his life and that the matter is now classified in a national security issue. He said that the Commissioner of Police, Michael B. Matthews, is aware of the threats to assassinate him. Quote, since becoming Premier, it is now documented through authorities that I have received three major threats of assassination and I want to tell these three entities here today that you aren't going to frighten me from doing the business of the people, end quote, he told legislators. And in sports, cash awards coming for Kasafa Super and Major Leagues. In celebration of its 20th anniversary, Magnum Tonic Wine, longtime title sponsor of the Magnum Kasafa Super and Major League football competitions, will be donating cash awards all round in the hashtag the Big 20 Kasafa promotions which encompasses the quarterfinal, semifinal, and final rounds. 
The monetary awards have been broken down for the two leagues with the leading goal scorer and Golden Glove prizes topping the Super League category with $20,000 cash and a trophy each. The first place coaching team will also earn $20,000, while $16,000 will go to coaching officials of the runner-up team. The man of the match will earn $10,000 and a trophy, while the main referee of the finals will also receive a $10,000 prize, with $8,000 going to the assistant referee for the final and $6,000 earmarked for the assistant referees who marshal the lines. The captain of the winning team will get a trophy. For the Major League Kasafa's second tier competition, the top awards of $10,000 and a trophy will be the Golden Glove and leading goal scorer awards with $10,000 going to the main referee and second place coaching team. The coaching team for the champions will earn $15,000 with $8,000 and a trophy designated for the man of the match plus $8,000 for the assistant referee for the finals. Gail leads Windy's World Cup squad, Samuel's not picked. The ICC World Cup squad for the West Indies team has been announced and five Jamaicans are into the preliminary squad. Chris Gale leads the pack with the other Jamaicans being Andre Russell, Fabian Allen, O'Shane Thomas and Sheldon Cottrell. Popular Jamaican cricketer Marlon Samuels did not make the cut. The squad will be led by Jason Holder and also include Ashley Nurse, Carlos Brathwaite, Darren Bravo, Evan Lewis, Kemar Roach, Nicholas Puran, Shai Hope, Shannon Gabriel and Shimron Hetmeyer. After next month's Tri-Nation series with Ireland and Bangladesh, the final 15-member squad will be submitted. For power hitter Chris Gale, it will be a chance to surpass Brian Lara as the Windies' leading batsman in ODI cricket. Currently, Gale is 253 runs short of that goal. Khadija Bonishaw is Tennessee's Female Athlete of the Year. Reggae Girls player Khadija Shaw has another reason to celebrate. Shortly after the announcement that she signed a professional contract with sportswear giant Nike, comes the news that she was named Female Athlete of the Year at the 13th annual Volscars on Monday night. Shaw, who was key to her team's success, led the Tennessee Vols to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament, scored 13 goals and had six assists during the campaign in 2018. She's also now the all-time leading scorer in the school's history. That's it for CGN News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.